If you are looking for ways to expand your culinary horizons, especially when it comes to whole grains, let me show you just how simple it is to cook millet in a rice cooker. Now I am Amy from A Red Spatula and I love whole grains. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process to getting perfect fluffy millet right from a very inexpensive rice cooker. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, drop them down in the comment section and I will be sure to respond. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get your notifications for all of my new videos that are coming up. Okay, before we get into cooking method, let me just teach you just a little bit about millet in case you're unfamiliar with it. It is a cereal grain. It's considered an ancient grain. It comes from a grass family. It's this cute round little grain. You probably have seen it in bird seed, but it is edible too. It's been very popular in Asia and Afri Africa for many, many years. We are just now catching on to it here in the United States. I, you can see I bought it in from Bob's Red Mill, but also I like to buy it in the bulk bin at my local grocery store when I can find it. It's very inexpensive that way. Before you cook millet, it's important to make sure that you rinse it really well. You can see I put it into a fine mesh strainer. I rinsed it with cold water for probably two or three minutes. Put this into your rice cooker and then add in just a little bit of salt. If you're on a low salt diet, of course, leave this out. Now in this recipe, all that I used to cook it in was water. You could also use broth if you want. I'm gonna add this in the description as well. Cover it, set it to white rice, let it cook. This one only has one setting on mine. It's a very cheap uh, rice cooker. I'll link that as well. And this is what it looks like when it's done. The ratio of water to millet that I use is really good. A lot of the other recipes I've tried, there's too much liquid and it comes out kind of mushy. You're gonna fluff it up with a fork and then you can serve it just like this. You can use it in place of rice, anywhere that you would use it basically in a salad buddha bowls you can eat it even just like it is if you cook it with broth and that's it if you have any questions let me know